This is part of the large branches that were uh, taken off of my spirit tree by lightning during the big storm. I'm going to use the bulk of this wood uh, to make my kiva. It will be the supporting branches and the, they're thick enough uh, to be able to do this. Uh, lightning split it in the, pretty much two equal parts so I will have uh, good supports and, uh, when I do mine. And I use the smaller branches on the sides for the uh, supports. But I'm uh, going to use one for my spirit stick, a walking stick. I went ahead and cut the length here. Uh, this is what I used, of course, to cut it. Just a small handsaw kind of deal here. And ta -ta. Now, the property what you're looking for when you make one of these, you want a good diameter. Put your hand around like this. You should meet your knuckle at least, okay? Because you want it to be sturdy, supportive, and uh, as straight as as you can get it to be. This is the straightest branch on this whole mess of tree. <laughs> okay, that came down. This is the only piece that was straight and it just happened to be perfectly with the diameter and the, uh, the length. Okay, so now we're looking at uh, my spirit wood staff. I've cleaned it, uh, drew a design. I lightly sanded it to get it down, took the bark off. It's very easy. Um, just to peel, just to cut it with a little bit of knife and to peel it off and then I sand it down. Uh, I'm wood burning in uh, my Asani symbols, okay. Uh, I use this uh, in my wood burner and uh, I make uh, where the circles are, I just uh, do a dot and then uh, have a six-sided deal there, okay. So uh, I lay it out in a pencil first so I get it all uh, is lined up as I can for the or the symbols and then I'm going to use a uh, flat tool here which I will show you with my wood burner like this uh, chisel point to do the flat lines okay so let's see how this turn out a little bit later uh, I'm going to have to of course linseed oil this uh, after I'm all done but uh, this is the wood burning process I am using and the tool that I use is very simple like this cost maybe a $20 or something like that uh, craft store. Okay. Okay, so we're going to just to chisel point it. Get a nice flat line. Like so. Turn the tool around and get a nice flat line. And uh, I just walk it into the shape I need. And then I uh, rip it in the middle there, make a nice little line. It's not so hard to do. It don't have to be absolutely perfect. It's a handmade, you know. A spirit wood from my spirit tree. It was in my video. And uh, this is one of the uses I made of the uh, branch that was taken off by a lightning for me. Uh, Gaia provide the wood. I provide the artwork. Okay. And uh, there you get a, an idea how it looks. Okay. Okay. So now I have uh, my staff symbols burnt in. I burnt them a five to a row. Okay. And uh, I did uh, three around. That uh, I got uh, the first 15 that I'm on the staff. Now I drew where the line is. I'm going to put a little pattern here and a little pattern down here. And uh, I'll show you how I do that here in just a little bit. That give you an idea. The symbols in is very easy to do. Uh, 
my woodworking this is first wood burning I do so uh, I tried my best to keep it simple and uh, that's it all right so there we go okay so here we go this is uh, the design that I've got on it so far I did it with the wood burning the Isani symbols uh, sacred circuitry come out pretty good I have to uh, uh, varnish it with a linseed oil I think is what I'm going to use and uh, it's almost done I'm going to put a leather cap on the top uh, where the hand go and uh, maybe a couple feathers and uh, it'll be done there we go